John, tell me, uh, what was the big challenge on, on making the Toy Story 2? Well, the big challenge of, of making Toy Story 2 was being fully aware that how many people in the world love Toy Story. You know, to have a success like Toy Story is every director's dream, but, but also the, the idea of doing a, a, a sequel to it is like, we knew it better be good, we knew it better be great. Um, and, and so we, we worked hard to, to, to come up with a story that, that really had all the fun in things that, that people loved from the first, but was a different story. So you could take these characters that people loved and put them into a new situations and, and, and make it really entertaining. But also it's like having the, uh, the heart, you know, the, the humor, the action. All those things, you know, really make them work great. And I, I'm, I'm really excited. In fact, I think it's, you know, in, in ways it's a more emotional film than the first. And things have changed a lot in Pixar since you guys did the first one and, yeah. and this one. And how this in a way or in the other affected the making of this one? Well, it's been four years. And, you know, we all know how computer technology has advanced in, in that amount of time. It's pretty dramatic. Well, those are our tools. And we've been able to, to develop some new tools that, that, that can let us do things that we couldn't do back then. But also it's like what's exciting is that this is the third film from you know, all the, the talented people I work with at Pixar. So this is like a film by people who are really on top of their game. They know what they're doing. They love what they do. And so I think uh, the big changes that you'll see is in, in Toy Story from the first one is the world is a little more complex. While we, we worked hard to make it look like the same, uh, the, the same movie, uh, the same world as the first one, um, it's still more complex because uh, we can do a lot more. Uh, the humans are much better. The dog is much better. The, um, um, you know, there's, there's some scenes. You know, what's interesting about also the fact we've done A Bug's Life, which is a movie that came out last year, we have all sorts of great computer um, generated plants and twigs and sticks and stones and all that stuff that we were able to put all through uh, Toy Story 2. It's what, our, what we call our digital backlot. We can just keep <laughs> reusing this stuff off into the future. That's interesting. I didn't know that that's how you guys see it, the digital backlot. Yeah. Go, now I've got to ask you a question in English and in Portuguese, uh, which is, was that a great chance to, to work with Barbie? It's something that your mother never okay. let you do when you were oh, a kid. That's good. Dessa vez foi uma boa oportunidade de você poder brincar finalmente com a Barbie, que a sua mãe não deixava você brincar quando você era criança. Well, see, I have, I have a twin sister, and uh, my G.I. Joes used to take, get in their Jeep and drive down the hall to her room, get out, beat up Ken, and then take her Barbies out on dates. Um, so, uh, but as you know, in the first one, you probably heard the story that we, we had a place in the story where, where we wanted to use Barbie. Well, Mattel, who makes Barbie, um, they didn't know who we were, and you know, in protecting their, one of their most important assets, which is Barbie, um, they, they said no. Well, then the movie comes out, and they're kind of going, you know, shoot, uh, we should have had her in there. Um, uh, and, and then it, when we started developing the story, there came a place in the story that we could use Barbie again. And this time Mattel said, absolutely, yes, you can use Barbie. And so we, we put Barbie in there, and we had a blast putting her in there. And you know, what's, what's nice is that we really celebrated Barbie for how cool of a toy she is. You know, we, we don't portray her as an adult woman. We don't portray, we don't make fun of her, but she is just cool as a toy, you know, and, and, and it's really fun. <laughs> she has her own personality. And, well, I just wanted to ask them, you know that's two slots I'm doing? Oh. You are aware of that? Was that oh, so now you're aware. <laughs> oh, yeah, because I'm doing for two, two countries, okay. yeah. And unfortunately, in Brazil, they're gonna they're gonna have a version in English and they're gonna have a version in Portuguese. Why unfortunately? Like all this, in the sense that we the Braz not all the Brazilians gonna be able to enjoy listening to the American towns, which I think is great. Not not saying that the Brazilians are not great, but the thing is, how much input do you have in the, the choosing of, of the international voices that are that are used in the in the movies well, in the different countries. Um, you know, when we make these movies, um, you know, after making the first Toy Story, 
I, was, I really learned a lot about the uh, international market. And so we, we, we kind of helped design the movies like A Bug's Life and Toy Story 2 to sort of, you know, um, to make it so that, w that they can become a little more international more easily. And so all through, um, all through the, and, and what's nice about our medium is we can go back in and change out anything that's a lot of key things that are written in English we change out into all the different languages. Um, but also in the, uh, the voice casting, they will send us tapes of the voices and, and to see what we think in the different languages. But, you know, Disney is so good at that. The, the Disney character voices group is so good at that that we just, you know, let them do what they're great at and, and support them on that. 